Hey, Ryan Tannehill, get a different job. You're watching Titans today here by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Jay Sanders. And it's very clear that the Titans lost this game, not just because of Ryan Tannehill. There were other concerning factors. But when you have the ball on a 59-second drive and you take two sacks, I'm going to blame it on you, especially when you call yourself an eight-year veteran and you come out of the starting for the first time since week six. Now, the stats, well, they're not exactly terrible for Tannehill. As he goes for 152, no touchdowns, no interceptions. It wasn't exactly great. One bad, though, but kind of just middle ground. Just mid, which is what Tannehill has kind of been for his entire career, to be quite honest. He had that one good year in 2020. had a couple of good times with Tennessee. I will admit that, but he's just overall, like with Dolphins, it's kind of mid. He's back to being mid. Geno Smith went for 227 and two touchdowns, including the game-winning drive as he ended up with a touchdown. I mean, past two games, Seahawks have gone on game-winning drives, and forgive me if I'm wrong, I believe it's the same score because the Seahawks beat the Titans 2017 and the Seahawks also beat the Eagles 2017, if I'm correct. Pretty freaking crazy if you ask me. Another game-winning drive. Oconqua leading receiver, six receptions for 63 yards and one touchdown. Like what I saw from Chiggy today, I want to get more involved with him, but no D-hop. No D-hop at all. And I question that because Ryan Tannehill, in the beginning of the year when he was out, D-hop only had one good game with Mr. Ryan Tannehill. One good game. Meanwhile, with Will Levis, he's had like four. It, it, I understand that DeAndre Hopkins is going to be Delacour. I understand that DeAndre Hopkins is going to be bracketed. But if you cannot get the ball to your all-star receiver, your all-pro receiver, the receiver that you signed this offseason to be your number one, if you can get him to him two times, something's wrong. And I don't think it's with Will Levis. He got it to him. What's up, Tanny? I just don't understand. If you're a Tannehill supporter, I'm sorry, this may not be the show for you. I'm not going to go light on him because he doesn't deserve it anymore. I'm tired of beating around the bush with this guy. He is not good. Now, I do want you to make sure you hit that subscribe button because we did do something amazing. Although the Titans lost, we hit 8,000 subscribers here on Titans today, and we're just growing more and more. In fact, we already got 20 more from the stream. We're on the way to 8,100. So hit that sub button. Before you know it, we're going to be at 10K. Trying to do it by the draft this year. I'd really appreciate it if you could help us out. So hit that sub button as we're growing day by day, month by month. And soon enough, we're going to be one of the biggest Titans channels here on YouTube as we're already the fastest growing one. Let's try and become the biggest one. Hit that sub button. The offense for the Seahawks. Not good, not bad. I think a lot of it came from the last drive was a big one. That accounted for really a majority of the yards. In fact, 70 plus of it. Total offense was 273. Passing was 215 of it. Uh, rushing defense, great as always for the Tennessee Titans. They've been kind of mid at both the passing and rushing in terms of the entire season. But if you look at kind of the past six weeks, their defense has really come alive in the rushing, in the rushing game. When they play the Dolphins, really held Raheem Mostert and Devon Achan really kind of stable. Obviously, no target kill kind of helps that out. But a lot of good things to come out of this game. I think that's where we have to start with. If this defense played well. Danico Autry had a sack. Harold Landry had another sack. Uh, McCreary played pretty well. Now, Trey Avery, let's just say he didn't have a great game. I'm not going to say it was on him, but he had a couple of plays that were just not, not good. If you look at the Titans offense, it's a little bit of a different story. The offense was better. You have more yards, but 162 of it came on the ground. They were averaging 5.2 carry, point yards per carry. If you're averaging 5.2 yards per carry, why are you throwing the ball 27 times in the game? I don't really understand that. If you're averaging, in fact, at one point, if you're averaging over six yards a carry, why are you throwing it at all? There's just, there's no point. Like, give the ball to Derrick Henry, give the ball to Tajay Spears, throw screens, throw out routes, and let it go. But instead, you threw 27 times. And I just, I, I understand there's times when you have to throw it, well, third long, but you got to just kind of give your offense a little bit more. I would have liked to see more running in a lot of these drives that maybe could have taken off some of the clock. Who knows? Why don't you give me your one word reaction to this Titans loss against the Seahawks? Is it bad? Is it good? Is it, I want a draft pick? Well, let me know in the comment section of today. I want one word to describe this Titans versus Seahawks lost. Now, I will say game time is the one place you need to go to get your tickets to not just sports, but music, comedy, and theater events in your area. They're super simple to use. Their app is honestly one of the most user-friendly apps you're going to find. Now, game time, like I said, they don't just have tickets to sports. They've got comedy events. They've got theater events. In fact, 
They have pretty much every event that you could want in your area. They got flash deals, zone deals, and with their best price guarantee, they're going to take the guesswork out of buying tickets. Now, zone deals, you ask, what are you talking about? Well, Game Time is obsessed with finding ways to help you save on money. So they have this thing called zone deals where you pick the section and then Game Time will pick the seats to get an average of 18% of savings. And if you want to get savings, make the choice and go to Game Time. Take the guess we're going to buy tickets. And again, use that code Titans Chat for $20 off your first purchase. We're going to put that in the comment section. We're going to put that in the description of this video. So if you want $20 off, go click the link down there to get that using code Titans Chat. Terms apply. Again, create an account redeem code T-I-T-A-N-S-C-H-A-T, -T Titans Chat, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets at the lowest price, guaranteed. I just don't know where to start with this game because, like, in the grand scheme of things, I wanted a loss. This helps the draft stock. You make it to where you're probably going to get a better pick in the, in, the later in the early round. But at the same time, I think it hurts because this is a good Seattle team that you fought with. This is a Seattle team that beat the Eagles last week and you fought with. And you didn't win. And I don't want to blame it on one guy, but I think you have to in some ways. 59 seconds left to go. Ryan Tannehill establishes himself and talks about himself as the veteran QB, as the guy who is going to help Will Levis. He takes two sacks in that final drive. How? How do you even in the right mind as a veteran QB not think the pocket is collapsing, let's throw it away? I, I, I'm just kind of baffled because it hurts that this team continues to fight and Tannehill just somehow finds a way to screw it up whenever he plays. We're back to weeks one through six or we're just having to watch him run around and do stupid things with the football. Good news is you do have King Henry, who put on another show. Had a rushing touchdown, had a passing touchdown. He was the better passer in this game. In fact, he was one of the better freaking passing guys in the history of ever. Dude can always complete a pass when you need him to. Had 19 carries for 88 yards with the one touchdown on the ground. 12 of the long, also had that passing touchdown to Okonkwa, who also had a good game. But I like that we use Derrick Henry a lot more in this game than I think what they have been. Seahawks are a bad rushing defense. They showed that it was going to be Derrick Henry's game. And it was a good mix because you had Derrick Henry as the one and you had Tajay Spears as the two. And he played well as well. Nine carries, 40 yards. And you combine these two, you're putting over 100 yards on the offense on the ground. That's what you want. That's what you expect from your team, honestly, with these running backs like when you have Derrick Henry, when you have Tajay Spears. You just expect them to kind of go in there and prove that this running team is a running team. Now, I mentioned Chigo Conqua. He has been so good this year. Maybe not good. So underrated is probably the better word. I don't think people understand what he's doing. Six receptions, 63 yards. The one touchdown coming from Derrick Henry. He has been playing absolutely amazing. I love what to see from him. And it's kind of what Titans fans, or not Titans fans, but Tannehill has liked. He likes Chiggy. Likes to throw it to him, and it seems as though he's a good fit. I'm excited to see what the future holds. I don't know that I have seen some mock drafts where Tennessee will take a tight end. Okonk was good. I think he is not the greatest at blocking. That's very clear. But he does understand how to catch a ball, which is the important part of a tight end on this type of offense. Now, Traylon Burks, after having a great game last week, wasn't exactly spectacular in this game. He had two receptions for 25 yards, long of 13. Um... I think, again, this one comes to just opportunities, two receptions, didn't have really many targets. And the fact of the matter is he had more yards, though, than DeAndre Hopkins, your receiver that you signed for all that money in the offseason. It just is kind of infuriating when you look at this team and you know that they have lost so many close games. If three games go your way right now, you win this game, you don't lose those two overtime games where Nick Folk missed an extra point. You are right now sitting at an above 500 record and watching the Bucks jaguars game thinking we could be in first place with the AFC South. Instead, Nick Folk missed two extra points and Ryan Tannehill takes two sacks and we're here. And now you're out of playoff contention and the best thing you can hope for is to lose. That's what you want. You want to lose? 
Kind of like I said at the beginning of the video. In the grand scheme of things, I lost what you wanted. But at the same time, Tannehill is not what I want to see playing on Sundays. Who do you blame for the loss? Am I being too hard on Tannehill? Is there someone else that deserves more bash? Is it Tim Kelly? Maybe he, you didn't like the way he called plays. Let me know in the comment section of today's video who is somebody that you blame for the loss. If it's Tannehill, then just go down there and type Tannehill because I, I feel like a lot of people might dislike him and he hasn't exactly done the greatest thing here in Tennessee over the past couple of years. We appreciate you watching. Uh, it's a tough loss, but like I said, grand scheme of things, you won the loss. You get to go and now get a better draft pick. You understand the value of each loss will get you a better draft stock. It hurts because you knew this was a close game. It was at home. You were feeling good. It's Christmas Eve. And unfortunately, it doesn't come to pass. That's all right, though. We're still fans here. And ultimately, like I said, just makes it to me to have a more fun offseason. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're going to be talking offseason here for a lot of the next couple weeks, obviously. He's got free agent talks. We've got draft talks. Got sending Ryan Tannehill to the moon talks. We're going to bring it all to you right here on Titans Today. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, youtube.com slash Titans Today, or scroll down, little red subscribe button. Click that fastest growing Titans community on YouTube.